Hey guys, Tech Timmy here. So today we're going to be unboxing the Ufi RoboVac X8 Hybrid Robot Vacuum and Mop Combo. Super excited to get this out of the box, but first I wanted to give you a little backstory in terms of what happened with my prior robot vacuum, my Ufi RoboVac 15C. So let's get into it. I think you're gonna like this. So here's my former robot vacuum who I have affectionately named Buddy. And Buddy and I have had lots of interesting adventures together along the way over the past couple of years. But the issue is even if I kick him and try and get it to get it to yep, oh there we go. Bear dude. So that's not a very fun noise, I don't think. And as you can see, so the the vacuum light is pulsing orange. And it's a weird sort of pulsing, and it never really fully charges up. So I can leave it like this. So that is actually, I believe, the pulsing means, means that it's charging. But I can never get it to fully charge up anymore, which is a bummer. That's not to say that it's not a good quality vacuum, because this, this thing has just been awesome over the past couple of years. But I put it through the mill, and mostly some of it was smart home testing. Some of it was just me being a little sadistic, I guess. <laughs> I put it out on my... Uh, out of my concrete deck here, for instance, cleaned out there a couple times, the carpeting that was out on the deck. And I use a lot of like carpet fresh and it's, it can't be good for it. All that powder can't be good going into the thing. So I'm almost sure that's probably, probably what killed it dead. And you know, if it's any testament, I did go with another, go with another Oofy RoboVac. So that's the backstory. And uh, without further ado, let's get the, my new X8 out of the box to replace Buddy. And I'm still going to tinker around with this thing, see if I can't fix it up so I can give it to one of my neighbors. But I just really haven't had the patience to deal with it up until now. So we're going to get the X8 out of the box and get that set up for you. Uh, next, let's do it. Hey guys, okay, so here is the RoboVac X8 in all its glory. I have my Epic unboxing knife on standby here. But looking at the packaging itself, it looks like I'm probably not going to need it. There's a little tabby thing on the other side that you'll see in a second. So Ufi does a great job with packaging. This one, there's not a lot of information in terms of the outer box, but basically it tells you, as I said, it's a two-in-one mopping vacuum. Looking forward to trying the mopping feature for sure. And the other benefit that I'm going to get here is the laser navigation and the mapping feature on this vacuum is better than on the 15C from everything that I've read. So I can actually set different zones in areas of the apartment that I want to basically set up as no-fly zones. So, and the other one would get tangled up on things like my desk chair and I have some bar stools around my table here and it would attempt to hump the legs of, of the thing almost every single time it cleaned. So that was a little bit frustrating. I'd have to go and move it manually. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then I did not opt for the one that has the, um, that has the bin where it will uh, automatically basically rinse and repeat, drop off your, your dirt and your dirty water from the floor and empty it out into the bin. I didn't get that for this go around. I don't think that actually comes with the X8, but maybe for a future for a future vacuum. But for now, I'm excited to get this out of the box and replace my friend Buddy. So without further ado, let's do it. So I think there's a, there should be a tabby thing here. And indeed, yeah, there is. Um, just in terms of the box itself, there's basically just marketing ease all around here and then on the back it does talk, actually talk a little bit maybe we should look at that next i guess so again they do a nice job with packaging um two chores one robot so that's basically the hybrid robot mop and vacuum together um ideal for pet owners my understanding is that this is really good if you have pets i do not have fish uh they don't really emit a lot of hair <laughs> thankfully but i buddy did catch up catch quite a bit of hair from family and friends that would visit me on occasion some of whom shed more than others we shall name no name no names but yeah so um that's actually a great feature and also as a testament to the suction and probably just a little bit better technology with this guy and then uh the upgraded ai so that's more of the mapping and i understand there's also some improvements to the app as well so it talks about all the various pieces in the box here which we're going to look at in a second and then um it's interesting that it says gifts so I, I think that's what it says yeah um so if you're interested in giving spare parts as gifts i guess that would be that would be an option and maybe, maybe they just should have, should have labeled that spare parts but you can get spare parts for this as as i did for the 15c i basically would buy the the little propeller feet and then also new filters and i change them quite regularly so it, the thing died but again 
definitely my fault because I just, I, I abused the thing despite, you know, trying my best to maintain it. So anyway, let's just pick this up. It is heavy. Um, I have to forgive my moaning and groaning for this old man here. So what we want to do is we want to open a little tabby thing here. And then I believe, so that's the bottom of the box, right? So we're going to want to, and I would say, try not to make this as mistake as possible. So you don't want to open this from the top up, right? So um, I'm going to set that down there. And then there's a little hole here down the bottom that says open. So resist the temptation to go the other way. Um, so you want to take that off there and then open it up and then ooh, here we go. Um, so yeah, so documentation stuff, obviously. But here and this, I could see somebody missing. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Let me, let me scoot this over here. You see where it says waterproof pad? So this is the top of the box, and that is where the waterproof pad actually sits right in here. So it's just a little plastic pad. Um, I'm just gonna take it out to show you. Um, and then, so that's that. Don't throw the box away with that in there. I could definitely see people doing that. It actually seems a little bit like a little, a little clear car floor mat in some ways. Um, but I think this is probably what the thing sits on at the dock. So that would make sense with, with that guy there. So it doesn't get your floors wet after it does after it does mopping. Maybe, and or there could be another use of this. So for today, just an unboxing. I'll do some future videos to talk about all of the different stuff. We'll do some demos, some configuration, and some you know, troubleshooting maintenance videos as well on this guy. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you will. And then, so here we go here. And then we have, as I said, I believe this is documentation. Yeah, they do a really nice job with, with packaging. Oofy Twin Turbine technology, nice. And then right off the bat, customer satisfaction. We have um, so customer satisfaction card. Uh, share, tell Share Connect, okay, cool. Um, I, I actually like the companies that have started doing that. It just, it shows you that they place more of a value on customer service. And then we have a quick start guide, which is nice. So this will show you how to set things up using your RoboVac. Type's a little small here for my liking, but okay. And then, so we have it in a couple different languages, so that really is just a quick start guide, a couple pages there to look at. And then we have our detailed owner's manual. This is gonna cover everything from setup to maintenance to the water tank. Um, so yeah, so the water tank, which I'm not exactly sure where this is on here, so that'll, that'll be interesting. It could be that the water tank is on the other side of the back of the, of the vacuum tank, I really don't know. But again, so for today, just to set up, look, take a look, take the side of the box, look at the various parts and so forth. And then we have our legalese, legalese. All right, and now here, I don't know if there's anything under, oh yes, okay, so this is the, um, the wet pad. How about that, huh? No, again, I can see somebody missing that and just, you know, basically ripping this thing off and, and, and trashing it. And yeah, no, so that's the wet pad. And then we also have, or maybe that's, is this the wet or the dry? Don't know. It's, it's a pad. So two different types of pads. One's wet, one's wet, one is dry. I think that's probably, or maybe two different types of wet pads. I'll leave some more information down below. Again, th this is you know, my first time seeing this too, guys. So, all right, here we go. Let's take another box. But I will do more videos going into a lot more deta detail on this guy, um, which is, these things are just so much fun. If you haven't owned one before, this is, a, is actually a great model to get started, I think. Um, and you'll have less problems than, you know, the early adopter guys like me with my 15C. So this right here is going to be the charging base. And ooh, it looks nice and new and shiny compared to buddies. Sorry, buddy. Um, but yeah, no, so that, that looks good. And, um, you know, very straightforward. It, it's actually a very, very straightforward setup. Any, anybody can figure this thing out in seconds. So there's, there's the power cable. I don't know what the wattage is on this guy. And then I'm not sure if it actually says so. 10, 10, 10 20 maybe? Uh, but anyhow, so yeah, my eyesight's gotten so bad. I don't have my readers on right now, so. But here we go. So, and then this guy is, I believe, nope, it doesn't go under. <laughs> so this connects up to this whoop, somehow, and then the whole thing goes into the wall. Um, there we go. So yeah, so there's a way to do some cable management under there. And seeing immediately, oh no, here it is, of course. So there's the, there's where the cord goes, right on the side here, see it? Which is a little interesting, so no, no I couldn't find it. So hopefully that, that's somewhat helpful. So that's where that guy goes. And then you can wrap this around, which is cool, and use whatever you need for cord 
um, you know, to get this to basically hide your cord because chances are this, this is going to be pretty close to the wall. So that's smart. And the 15T did not have this capability. So that's why I'm kind of struggling with it here. So that's that. And then this just pops back into place like so. And you have just a little bit of wire. I actually really like that a lot. That's that, that, that's what that's a really nice add. So there's that and, and the power power cord after you figure out that little bottom needs to come off in order to do it. And yeah, wow. So this looks, it definitely looks more high end than the, than the, than the uh, 15C for sure. And I like the little, the stripey designs. I like this guy on the top. I wonder if that has something to do with the, with the mopper. I'm not really sure, but I'll find out and leave some information down below. It comes with some ties. So I believe these are just for cable management. If you want to do some additional cable management in addition to, to what it provides over there. Um, so that's essentially that. And then, um, yeah, bear with me one sec. I'm going to just set those aside as well. And then, da, da, da. so oh, before I do that, so this is an extra filter, which is nice. I believe it already comes with a filter inside there. Um, so that's an extra one, which is cool. And then I'm just going to take this out of the box and set it down on the table here. We'll cast the box aside for a moment just so you can bask in all of this Oofy X8 glory. Um, yeah, so this is the Oofy X8 hybrid and very, very cool looking uh, vacuum. So on the top, we have our different controls. So right in the center is the power button. Above that is we have a Wi-Fi indicator. So when it, I believe it, it glows orange once it's connected to Wi-Fi. Over here, there's a charging button. I don't know if you have to use that or maybe that, you know, maybe that's the answer to the problems that I'm having right now. I, I don't really know. I think it just will automatically connect and start recharging itself. And then that last button is for spot cleaning, I believe. So um, that's essentially, essentially it. This I actually bought refurbed. I know for sure that if you have a brand new one, there would be two little bumpers on the side with uh, just assist, assist with packaging that needs to come off. And then down here, so let's just flip it over. So that little blue thing there is the is the dustbin. And I don't know, I don't know if the water goes in there as well, but you basically just pull up on that latch and you can pull it forward. And then so that's where this is where the magic happens essentially. This is where all of your dirt and grist, grit and grime goes. Um, ultra pack dust compression. Yeah, so this is actually has a, has a little bit more of a compression capability as well than the last one. So it'll pack all of your grit in there so you don't have to clean it as often. And then this right here is a handy little cleaning tool where you can, actually, so there's the roller brush. And if you get uh, hairs and things caught in there, you can use that little knife and then there's a little brush on the other end to just sort of keep the thing maintained and, 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 and running well. And then let's just take a peek inside. And then indeed, so that's the water filter i believe that the little white plastic thing i don't want to pull that out because i actually don't know what's going to happen um, <laughs> if i do i know that this will come up as well so this just lifts up here and then the brush can come out to clean it and then yeah so you can you, there's no way to get the water chamber underneath which actually makes sense because this is for vacuuming right and then so um let's just, let me just get this back in here i believe So it's a little bit, a little bit of a trick to it, but you just basically push that in, and then, and, and then that pops down, and then this guy can go back. And I'm just going to set that. Oh, no, nope, we have to get the little latches in here. So that's how you take that off. And you want to push this end in first, I believe. And then yeah, and then that just snaps into place there. And then we can put the dustbin back as well. And so oh, that just slides like so. It snaps back into place like that. So, and then over here, obviously, we have what I like to call the feet, but that I believe is some sort of a of a ro rotating brush. Or I, I I can't remember what they call it, but this is where it the when the vacuum makes it the rounds around your house, it basically scoops up the dirt and shoves it into this this guy, so that it goes and ends up in the bin. So that's essentially how it works. And then here are contacts for the charger, um, navigation capability, two wheels, and this is the, this is basically what what stirs it. Uh, stir steers <laughs> and then yeah so that I mean that that's essentially it and just for comparison purpose I really like the look of this one it looks I, it just looks more I don't know regal than buddy so there's buddy and then there's the new one it's just it looks more high-end basically is what it is and I'm super excited to get out of the to get it um, set up and get this going and we'll definitely film some additional videos for you guys but hopefully you found this helpful if you did if you wouldn't mind just give me a quick thumbs up 
It really helps out the channel a lot. And uh, consider subscribing. I'm going to do a, a lot more videos about the Ufi X8. And I do all sorts of videos about smart home tech. And we're trying to level up our video game. And I'm uh, looking for subscribers. So please subscribe so I can get to my, uh, to, so I can reach my goals for this year. And anyhow, I hope to see you in the next video. And uh, ciao for now. Cheers. Oh, one more thing. If you just wouldn't help me saying goodbye to buddy together. Uh, bye, buddy. <laughs> uh, you served me well, buddy, but you've been replaced. Sorry. And uh, yeah, and if, in fact, actually, I'm not going to be able to name my new one, buddy, out of respect for the old. So maybe we're going to have some sort of, I can get some sort of contest going on the channel where you guys can help me, help me name my new one. So if you just wouldn't mind dropping a, um, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give anyone who comes up with a name that I love, I'll give you a $10 gift card to Amazon. So leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think of a, of a new name for this guy it could be. Anyhow, cheers. Hope you see you in the next video.